Hi, I'm Matt Bush, and you can draw Star Wars. Oh. Hi, welcome to my studio. Come on in. Uh, right now I've got my studio decorated with a bunch of different Star Wars uh, items, a lot of the different artwork that I've done in the past. I should start over because the finished art shouldn't be here yet. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say, oh no. Damn it! It's like it went back in my own face. <laughs> so these sketches are, are going to be great. <laughs> One thing's for sure, the more you draw, the, the better yeah. One thing's for sure, the more you draw, the better you One thing's for sure, the more you draw, the yeah. Hey! Pull the <laughs> That's actually a pretty good take. Gesso is essentially a primer. Uh, but I can't remember what I was gonna say next. I like to paint with acrylic, but it uh, just so. Uh, f Here I'm using a straight end. The inking process. I heard that. Sorry. It's all right. Let me do that with a little less enthusiasm. Hi. Oh, wait for the plane to come. Yeah, probably. Welcome back. Wait, what am I gonna say again in today's episode? We're gonna begin the painting process with acrylic washes. I gotta do something else with my hands because that's not cool. I've got my yellow wash ready to go. We're ready to be there. The way that I begin any project is the same way that any artist would begin working on something big. That wasn't very good. Let me try that over. Lastly for washes is the airbrush stage. Really on all the... Now the truth is, a nice big palette like this is usually pretty expensive. Or wait, how do I say it? We're using cadmium yellow light straight out of the tube. It's your world, your Death Star. Ah, lost the stick. God, why didn't I go off? Give him a big round of applause and thank you for showing up. Woo! Darth Vader, the more details on their face, is that hard? One of the things that I see with a lot of aspiring artists is when they're trying to draw something cool like Star Wars or Lord of the Rings or Transformers or whatever, you get real excited and you just want to start drawing details. Have you ever done one of those drawings where you probably spend a couple hours and then you stand back and look at it and it looks like it's kind of standing sideways like this and it's kind of slanted? I always start with simple shapes. I construct the figures and I kind of build them so I get the gesture right, the proportions and everything, and then I kind of build from there. Heard <laughs> your stomach. <laughs> All right. Well, we're here at the Emerald Theater. It's the Motor City Art Expo. We're hanging out with Gwen Joy, artist extraordinaire, hey, and her friend doing? Sterling. Gwen, can you tell us a little bit about your stuff? Your stuff here is definitely very eclectic and it's very original. This guy, look at him. He's ready to party. Uh -huh. Wow. This is one of the more creepier ones that I've seen. What's the baby, up? <laughs> the baby squirrel it looks like something that just happened. Right? It is. It's a baby squirrel. So the next time someone says, oh, that look at the baby so squirrel, I'm going to say, that's not a baby squirrel. This is a baby squirrel. Look at this one. What does the baby squirrel put in its mouth? Because I see the hole there, and I don't know what... I don't know. Nuts. Okay. It's out in the wilderness, you know. Now, what does this squirrel put in its mouth? Uh, suckers. Tell us about some of your jewelry here. Yeah, they're just from vintage pieces that I find, and I just kind of reassemble And look at it, it matches very well. Oh, yeah. How come you're not wearing any of your jewelry? Because you can't, you know, overdo it, you know? And there's something about your work that, like, um, 
Yeah. I hope you don't take offense by this, but sometimes I find it like creepy. Well, that's but cool. but I mean it, but I mean it in a good way. I can see your stuff going over very well. In Chicago and New York and stuff. You should email me a list of places you think I should take it to. All right, enough of the color or the. When it came time to making the DVDs, they almost didn't let me use the Star Wars music. And how awful would that be? Yeah. You can draw Star Wars, and I've got some cheesy. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it almost sounds like Star Wars, but not quite.